Welcome to Network Theory Lecture Series. In this video, I'll be going to explain you Y parameter in two port network. Y parameter is also referred as admittance parameter. And to understand admittance parameter, in this video, I'll explain you what are the basic equations which is there with Y parameter. After that, I'll explain you how we can have measurement of Y parameter in two port network. Then after, I'll explain you how we can have equivalent circuit of Y parameter. And at last, I'll explain you two very essential properties of Y parameter in which I'll explain how reciprocity and symmetricity can be identified by Y parameter for any two port network. So when we talk about Y parameter, so that is what admittance parameter and admittance means what it is having a ratio of current divided by voltage, right? So relation of admittance is current divided by voltage. So now you see I have shown here this current and voltage relation with Y in terms of matrix. I'll explain you how we can have equation C1 but for that you need to have two port network. So let me draw two port network first. So here we are having two port network in that see this is my port 1 and this is my port 2. So at port 1 let us say we are having voltage V1 and that is inserting current I1 inside this two port network. And let us say we are having port 2 over here with voltage V2 and that is inserting current I2 inside this two port network, right? So see here we are having port 1 with voltage V1 and I1 and port 2 with voltage V2 and I2. So based on that, if you want to write equations of Y parameter, then you see relation is what? I is equals to Y and V. So here I matrix that is having current I1 and I2. So I'm writing I1 and I2 and that is equals to for two port network there will be Y11, Y12, Y21 and Y22 that is how Y parameters will be there and voltages will be V1 and V2. Right. And based on that we can have two essential equations of two port network with Y parameter. See one equation is I1 is equals to Y11 into V1 plus Y12 into V2. And second equation of current I2 that is Y21 into V1 plus Y22 into V2. So these are essential equations which is there with Y parameter. Now I'll explain you how we can have a measurement of Y parameter like Y11, Y12, Y21 and Y22. So if you observe this equation carefully, then in that if you provide V2 is equals to 0, right, what it means? Port 2 that should be short circuit. You see if you provide V2 is equals to 0 means port 2 is short circuit. So in that case you will be having Y11 that is I1 by V1 and you will be having Y22 that will be I2 by V1. Let me mention that first. So if port 2 is short circuit then V2 is equals to 0. So what it means we will be having Y11 that is I1 by V1 and we will be having Y21 that will be I2 by V1. Right here we will be having V2 is equals to 0. What it means? Port 2 that is short circuit. Right. So what is the meaning of this Y11? Y11 that is port 1 admittance that you can say as per I1 by V1. Right. Sometimes it is also referred as input admittance. Right. Now see here what is Y21? So Y21 that is I2 by V1. So what it means? It is forward transfer admittance that you can say. Right. Why the reason is? Here see output is I2 divided by input is V1. So 2 by 1 is there means it is forward transfer admittance. Now 
as if you want to measure y12 and y22 so in that case you should have v1 is equals to 0 right and to have v1 is equals to 0 what you will be doing you will be providing short circuit at port 1 so if port 1 is short circuit then v1 is 0 and if v1 is 0 you will be having y12 that is i1 by v2 here we are having v1 is equals to 0 and you will be having y22 that is i2 by v2 right and in that also we have v1 is equals to 0 now if you observe y12 so that is i1 by v2 right so what it means it is reverse transfer admittance and you see y22 is what i2 by v2 so that is port 2 admittance right sometimes it is also referred as output admittance now if you observe here we are having a measurement of y parameter by doing short circuit of port 1 and port 2 right so to have a measurement of y parameter what we need to have we need to provide short circuit of ports that's why this y parameter is also referred as short circuited parameters so to have a measurement of y parameters we provide short circuit and that's why it is also referred as short circuit parameters now what i'll explain you i'll explain you the basic circuit which is equivalent circuit of this y parameter right so what i'm going to do is i'll be going to draw it over here right so for that you see i have already said here we are having port 1 right and here we are having port 2 now with port 1 what we provide with pro port 1 we provide voltage v1 and current going inside is i1 and at port 2 we provide voltage v2 and current going inside that is i2 right so that is what we have already seen it for the case of two port network but in equivalent circuit you see here we will be having input admittance or port 1 admittance that you can say that is y11 i have already explained it port 1 admittance is y11 that is i1 by v1 right when v2 is short circuited and over here at port 2 will be having port 2 admittance or you can say output admittance that is y22 now in parallel with that here we need to provide current source with downward direction and its value will be y12 v2 right and over here we need to provide current source with downward direction and its value is y21 v1 right so that is how equivalent circuit is there and if you want to verify equations right then what you can do is you can provide kcl at this node right so if you provide kcl at this node then entering current i1 right so that will be how much current over here plus current over here so current over here that will be voltage into admittance right so that will be v1 y11 plus current in this that is y12 v2 right so that is what our first equation that you can understand and see if you provide kcl at this then i2 is how much current in this branch plus current in this branch so current in this branch that is admittance into voltage so that is y22 into v2 plus current in this branch that is y21 v1 so that is our second equation right so you can observe these equations that we are satisfying by this equivalent circuit right now i'll explain you two very essential properties which is there with y parameter so for reciprocity all we need to understand is for reciprocity this y12 and y21 that should be equal see this is very essential property that you must know 
for reciprocity y21 that should be equals to y12 right and for symmetricity for symmetricity y11 that should be equals to y22 so these are the basics that you must know regarding y parameter let me give you quick summary again see y parameter is admittance parameter admittance means what current divided by voltage now how to do measurement so for measurement you will have to provide short circuit right let us say you want to measure y11 and y21 right so for that case you will have to provide short circuit at port 2 and let us say you want to measure y12 or y22 so in that case you will you will have to provide short circuit at port 1 right i'll explain you that by example like how we can have calculation of all those things right now secondly you should know the basic meaning of all four parameters like what is y11 that is admittance at port 1 or you can say input admittance what is y22 so that is admittance at port 2 or you can say that is admittance at output port now what is y12 that is forward transfer admittance and what is y21 that is reverse transfer admittance right now there are few more basic things that you should know like how we can identify symmetricity or reciprocity of two port network by using y parameter so in that case you should know that for reciprocity y12 is equals to y21 and for symmetry it should be clear to you that y11 should be equals to y22 for symmetricity of two port network so these are the basic things that you should keep in your mind when you have y parameters in future there will be many more examples that i'll be going to solve so that will resolve your understanding in terms of calculation of y parameter right but these are the basics that is very essential for understanding of y parameter i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video